It's a good thing it's dark in here, huh? How's it going? He writes the best stuff. I was impressed when he was putting it up. Yeah, he's been writing really? stuff for some kids. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> again and share with us his work, some of which I've had the pleasure to read and I have to tell you that I'm very excited to read more. He wrote a book entitled Brogues by Michael C. Dale. I encouraged him to bring copies. I'm not certain if he did. I told him, hey, an opportunity to sell some, sell. But he's a poet and he doesn't have that cynicism needed, I don't think. The entire thing is written in verse. Would that qualify as an epic? It would qualify as an epic. Okay, that's pretty, uh, it is an amazing feat for those of you who have ever tried. I made it to a page and a half once. <laughs> How this started, he was telling me the story. He had written a short poem, only a page or two, and he had sent it to his family, his children who gave him the encouragement said, no, Dad, it's not over yet. It's barely just begun. And so this is the result of that. That's the result of familial love, encouragement, interdependence, reliance, trust. I look forward to reading this. I look forward to hearing, to, hearing him now. So without further ado, and with great, great pleasure, Mr. Michael Daly. Get rid of the 
feathers, turn it inside out, to fill it with mushrooms. That's what it's all about. Out in the hallway, I opened the string. No feathers at all were in this old thing. Old jackets and overcoat with buttons too. And there in the shirt is my other old shoe. So down the stairs and through the front door, setting our sights in the shadow of the shore. Up the good place, past the foul sweet shop, beyond the Neil Yard with nary a stop. The barrel yard is quiet, too early for work. My brothers had sold the feathers to feathery work. I'm quite sure now, mom and dad didn't know, their sons found a way to make some extra dough. Beyond the nun's field, they Mick Madden's thatched home. Further up the racetrack, where greyhounds did roll. No. At the canal banks in the Shannon River, where many the salmon made the waters quiver. At last to the fields where the washrooms grew. But in it with the empty bolster that had hid my shoe. It took three hours to fill it, and we walked along the way. But we had mushrooms at breakfast for many a day. To end the great morning, we went for a swing. The second bridge we just died to <laughs> The mushrooms we hid beneath straw in the field, so no one would know what that was from the heel. We dried off in the sun, it didn't take long. Then the saw, the tusk, then, the, then saw the tusk of straw. The mushrooms were gone. We did not cry, but we held our hearts, and we wished that whoever ate them would turn them into sheep's hearts. <laughs> Brendan! 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 Make him go up to the microphone. Microphone. He has to step up. I don't have to tell you here, no. You've heard it all before. I have loved you for two lifetimes. All I want is more. It's no secret that you changed me. You turned me upside down. With one glance at what's important in that little Irish town. Life is easy with you, and they never love you back the same way. It has never taken for granted. It's a love I choose to understand. But I must tell you that I love you. The best words that I can find. I have found you in a love song. You are always on that road. Excuse me for the interruption, we have a, a special, uh, I hope you consider it a gift. Um, our last featured poet, Professor Robert Kramer, I think you enjoyed this very much, right? It's a really a nice thing. We have somebody here, a fabulous talent, Nikki Enright, who is an artist. While Michael is reading his work, Nikki is going to try to conceptualize it visually here. So some of the imagery that's with, that's, that can be evoked from his work, some of the emotions, Nikki will be able to encapsulate it via shark.
It is here I found the scent of the air, to be at its very sweetest. It is here the birds sing the happy refrain by building their nest beneath us. It is here beneath quiet waters, the fish play hide and seek. It is here the boys and girls meet. It is a place where love is to be. Whatever shadow has to have as she makes her love the ocean. But this one here in the Olympic City has earned all the name of the ocean. And streets and along each bank, recognizing houses of many an old friends. Twenty-one years when I started each day, made the dear, dear family until I went away. Suddenly that street, the house still there, now the soul around, but something's in the air. It seems I hear voices so familiar to me, I have seen pictures full of happiness and glee. I didn't knock or ring the bell on that door as our family just weren't there anymore. Wow. <laughs> 